What's up, Mentorship Freaks? It's the Daily Dose of the Mentorship Motivator. Today, we are talking about team engagement, getting your team engaged. So how are we doing that? And, and again, this is a lot of this is going to be reviewed for you, but it's things that you slip your mind or you, or you don't focus on. So these daily videos are just reminders to, to motivate you to light that spark again, remind you of shit that needs to get done, remind you how things probably should be, or maybe teach you something new or just see from a different perspective or in a different context in, in your business. So engagement, team engagement. First is you need to encourage them to move, to act, to participate. So how are you going to do that? How are you going to encourage them to move and participate? You need to get them moving, get them participating the way you need and engage the way you need. The way to first do that is first you as the leader need to engage them. You need to engage them and your, your team leaders, your management needs to engage them, needs to reach out to them first, go to them, step up to them, start the conversation with them motivate them. That's how it's going to get started. That's what's going to trigger all these events. How are you going to engage them? So many different ways. But first, how about just starting with making them feel valued and respected and recognized? Basically, anytime you're usually, obviously there's an exception to that rule, but usually whenever you're respectful to someone, they're going to be, you know, you're going to receive respect back. So make them feel valued, respected, recognized. Sometimes simply just saying, thank you. Amazing. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing this. Even something that's simple, their basic job, but they just did it well. They did it with, uh, you know, the standards and expectations you have. Simply giving fucking thanks sometimes it is, will make the world a difference for someone. Or maybe you're going to write them a short note or a, or a handwritten note. And we try to do that at least once a month for each team member. Some kind of handwritten note. Maybe sometimes it has a bonus in it and then we'll announce what they've got the bonus for. Also give them recognition and thanks on social media and not just you know, you have a staff page for your for your social media, not just on the staff page. They need recognition in front of your team sometimes, sometimes recognition in front of the, the members. So in your clients, your VIP membership page group on Facebook, sometimes they need recognition in person and while they're performing their duties. Sometimes they need recognition publicly on public social media. So depending on the situation, you know, use all of those. Don't don't just think that you're just going to go in person and thank them and that's it. Depending on the situation, they need that public recognition in different areas. And when it comes time to reaching out for them, when it comes time to having that one-on-one -on -one meeting or that, that Starbucks doom meeting of doom that we know that sometimes we have to have with those people, like where we know they're looking like they're, they're falling apart. So we bring the Starbucks and draw that line in the sand. This is where you are. This is where I need you to be. Are you willing to do that? If they say no, we know that we're going to have to part ways with them. So how about reaching out to them, setting up a one-on-one -on -one meeting, either in or even better out of the gym, even better at a Starbucks, so they lose the fear of the Starbucks. Every time they hear that someone goes to Starbucks, someone got fired. How about if you meet someone there or take them out to lunch or take them to Starbucks just because you just want to get to know them better. You want to talk to them. You want to ask them some questions about their goals, their their future, their their, their hobbies. You Or you just want to thank them. You're taking them out to lunch for thanking them for doing such an awesome fucking job with some of the clients or whatever. So don't only reach out to them when they fucked up or they did something wrong. Keep them in mind all the time, being thoughtful and just randomly reaching out to them for different things. Don't just wait until they fuck something up. And then also you're going to get them engaged by, again, engaging them. It all starts with you and your team leaders, your management group. Shit, you have some plans coming up for either the business or maybe even something in your personal life that you are willing to share and comfortable sharing. Share your upcoming plans with them. Share what's coming up in the business or your personal life or in the company, whatever's coming up. Share, share that. It's going to make them feel part of the process. Like they're part of that team and they have some input on it or whatever. You learn some stuff here in the mentorship group. You learn some stuff in a book you read, in a YouTube video you watched, a podcast you listen to, an event you're going to learn when, like when we go meet in, in a couple of days now. Share the knowledge you learn with them. Something that you learned, go and teach them. Teach your whole team or teach someone specifically or tag, send a link to two or three people that you know specifically it's something that they have an interest in or can help them and let them know. I saw this, I thought of you. Check this out. I thought you liked this video, this podcast, this this song, this movie, whatever it is. It could be something for personal development, something you learn, but also think about something just of their hobbies or some of their interests they have. So something you learn, share with them. Something you come across that might be of interest to them, share with them. That's you engaging them first to open up the gateways, open up that fucking portal for them to engage back to you and then even engage your, your rest of your team and to your members. So throughout all this, What's going to make them start engaging back to you is that they see a stable force of discipline in you, not where you're too high and too low all the time. And we're actually going to go into this in a presentation 
in person in a, about emotional discipline. But you need to be that stable force they can rely on so they don't know, can I come talk to, to, to him this day or is it not a good day? It should always be a good fucking day for them to be able to feel like they're comfortable enough to come and talk to you. They should know that you're stable, that they can rely on you and they can come to you at any time for anything. Now when it comes to tasks, make it clear and responsible what their tasks are, what's expected of them, not where there's any confusion a specific new task that comes up or an event, make it clear who's responsible for what, who's responsible for making what decisions, and it's theirs to make. Don't they fuck something up. Don't hop in and start doing their job for them. They're going to lose all thoughts of engaging again in the future. If you just jump in and be like, oh, you fucked up. Here, let me do it myself. The way you should do it with your parents and your little kids, you don't want to do some shit. Like wash their car. She fucked it up on purpose. She said, oh, get out of the way. I'm just going to do it myself. That shit doesn't work when you want team engagement from your team. That shit ain't going to work. Don't do their job for them. Let them figure it out. Let them figure it out with failing. Let them fail sometimes fast. Let them fail hard. They need to be able to deal with failure. We know that. And if they can't deal with failure, if you're thinking, oh, I'm worried that they're going to fail and they're going to be discouraged and not want to engage in the future. Listen, if you can't coach them through that failure, of course they're going to fail. We're going to coach them through it and, and help them overcome it. If they can't, if you can't coach them through that failure, they're probably not a good, good, good fit for your team anyway. So they need to be ready to deal with failure and not without you doing their job for them. They need to be able to do problem, you know, solve problems. But then again, when you have problems to solve, bring in the people who you think on your team can help you out. Bring them in, have them come in for a meeting, get them on the phone, ask for their input. Imagine that. The owner's calling them specifically. What do you think about this? I'm going through this situation. How would, what do you think would work best for us in the company even? Your company, maybe personal life. Get some of their input, some of their ideas. And if you use it, let them know use it. Thank them for it. Or maybe it sparked a different idea in your head. Use that. So when it comes to ideas and whatever, or even you getting pissed off or mad about something or overly excited about something, only do that shit on your terms. Schedule that shit out. I call it pissed on purpose. Get pissed on purpose. Only on purpose. Don't ever lose it and flip where you're, because then you don't have control of yourself. You let your, your, your emotions take control of you. Pissed on purpose is what you need to be doing. And appropriately and under complete control is the way you need to think about that. So they see you as stable. They see you as someone that could motivate them, get them to engage, light that fire under their ass, light that spark on them. And encourage, don't just, of course, their strengths, thank them for their strengths, acknowledge their strengths, but then help them develop their weaknesses. Show them that you can actually help them succeed. Show you have interest in helping them develop personally, develop professionally with their personal development and with improving their weaknesses. Show them that you actually give a shit and you want to help them out. You actually give a shit about not just your goals, but also their goals, their personal and professional goals. Inspire the people to want to participate with you. Inspire them to want to do their freaking job. Not just want to do their job. Inspire them to want to do their job so well that they'll feel guilty if they don't do it above and beyond to the high standards expectations. They'll feel like they're letting you down because you did all these steps we just talked about. That's what you need to think about when you're talking about team engagement. So I will talk to you later. I will see you soon. This is Mentorship Motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.